ねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねはい、すみえげん。Welcome to a new series of videos directed towards you national fi physicists. This one is about my logo.、Um, asks, how do lenses work? To answer that question, let me give you another. How are you able to see this glass rod? Do you see the problem? It is transparent. It lets all of the light pass straight through it. The answer is refraction. Refraction is the change in the speed of light as it goes from one material, air, into another material, like glass. Now, that more often than not causes a change in the direction of the light, too. So, what's going on here? The light behind this is being bent, and you see that distortion in the light as a glass rod. I can show you the bending of light by using a pencil. Okay, so in this case, light will be bent when it passes from water into air, and vice versa, and you will see that as the light coming off this pencil. It looks like the pencil's bent, but it's just the light that's being given off from the pencil. Now, only if, the, if only there was an analogy that would help me to make that a bit more clear to you. Oh, I've got one here.、Um, so let's imagine you stole your parents' car. Or monster truck, and you decide to take it for a spin. Quite literally. In this case, you're going along the road at about 100 miles an hour, and you lose control, and you head towards the muddy side of the road. In this case, the front right tyre will hit the mud first, and it will slow down because you can't travel as fast in wet mud as you can on the road. However, the front left tyre will carry on going at the same speed. It will be going more quickly than that one. And the result of that is that the entire car will change its direction. Light does exactly the same thing. When it hits a different material at an angle to that material, it changes direction. If you were stupid enough to go directly into the side of the road, Then both of the tyres would hit the mud at the same time and the car wouldn't change direction. It would just keep going straight. And light does the exact same thing. Now let's see some refraction in action. Ooh, I like that. In fact,、uh, I think I want to wrap that.、Uh, special warning, guys, I am a very, very good wrapper.、Um, this is the Bandana from the Orkney Islands, my crew, here we go. Refraction in action gives you satisfaction. Most people have no idea what to do with their hands in that scenario, but、uh, not this guy. Okay, I wonder if I can find something big、uh, to show you some refraction in action. Wait. Hello. Let there be light. And there was light. Now let me just shunt you along a little bit so you can see what's going on. Alright, so you should remember from that analogy that when the car hit the mud directly, Right, perpendicular to the surface, it went straight through. It didn't change direction. And light does exactly the same thing. If that light ray hits the surface perpendicular to it, it doesn't change direction. It still refracts, right? It's still changing its speed from one material to the other. It's just not changing direction. How can we get it to change direction? By changing direction. The angle at which it hits the surface. Now, there's an excellent code word to help you remember how the light ray changes from one surface to the next. First of all, I have to introduce something called the normal line, which is about as exciting as it sounds.、Uh, the normal line is the line that is perpendicular to the surface, 
right here. Now, in this scenario, the light ray is bending towards that normal line. You should see it coming in and bending down towards it. The rule for that is tan. It is bending towards the normal from air into glass. Tag. But at the bottom surface, the light is now bending away from the normal. It's going from glass to air and it's bending away. The rule for that is aga. Tag, aga, tagaga. Now, how can we apply tagaga to uh, lenses? Uh, now, for that, uh, you'll, you'll be aware that physics teachers have an innate ability to channel the force. And so I'm going to do that now to generate two new light rays. I am a Jedi. Now, first type of lens is called the convex lens. This is thicker in the middle than it is at the edges, and you should see that the convex lens can make light rays converge to a focus. Convex, converge. Now, can we apply Tagaga to this scenario? Well, let's have a look. Um, the middle ray hits the surface right along the normal line, and so it doesn't change direction at all. Makes sense. However, let's have a look at the ray at the top. Now, the surface of the lens is curved. That means that the normal line is going to point slightly upwards. If the light is still going from air into glass, which it is, remember, tag, it's going to bend towards that normal line. So it goes into the block, and in order to bend towards the normal, it has to bend down. We could apply the same to the bottom half of the lens, right? Here the normal line is pointing slightly downwards because of the curvature of the lens. And so the light ray would have to bend up to get closer to that normal line. And so the light rays converge. You could apply the same logic to a concave lens, which looks a bit like a cave, and you would get the opposite effect. The light rays diverge. Light has one more trick up its sleeve. Oh, I, I used the force to do that. Okay. Remember, when light goes from glass into air, aga, it's going to bend away from the normal, away from glass to air. Um, now, if I keep rotating this glass block, at some point, the angle here is going to be so big that it's not going to be able to bend any further away from the normal line. And at this point, it totally internally reflects. All of the light gets reflected back inside the material. You can imagine that if I had another one of these down here, at a big enough angle, it would also reflect. And what you have here is the basics of what we call a fibre optic cable. Which looks a bit like this. So as long as the angle is right, if you send a light signal inside here, it will reflect internally all the way down the fibre until it comes shooting out at the end. Perfect. And this has got one extra use in uh, some Christmas lights. So there's a light source at the bottom here, and the light gets reflected internally all the way up each of these strands to the tips, which is nice because it means that I can hypnotise you. You will love physics. Sorry. So I hope you enjoyed that uh, lesson, and remember in all of your physics lessons, to stay focused.